What's good, Washington Commando fans? All right, we knew this was coming at some point in time. So let's cut to the chase. Um, Ron Rivera has named Jacoby Brissett the starting quarterback for this weekend's game against the 49ers, which it all makes sense. But at the same time, it really don't matter because the fact of the matter is we're not going to be the 49ers who came off for Christmas Day behind kicking um, at the hands of the Baltimore Ravens. But as you know, for the two times, Sam Howell has been benched the last two games. The first game against the Jets where Jacoby Brissett came in, um, took us down the field, and then almost won the game, thank God. And it took the Jets kicker to ice the game, gave them a win. And then um, last week, um, Sam Howell struggled again. He got benched. Jacoby Brissett came in the game, did the same thing. Um, and it just, it goes to show maybe Jacoby Brissett, he has a better grasp of Air B's offense than Sam Howell. Um, some of us could question whether Jacoby should have started at the beginning of the season until Sam Howell got um accustomed to the offense i mean a lot of us had high hopes for sam howell i love sam howell i wanted him to succeed he did some great things early on but these last six games it's been a struggle i think he's mentally physically um um battered um checked out now in the last two weeks, Jacoby Brissett has passed for 18, um, 18 completions for 23 attempts for 234 yards, three touchdowns, no interception. Now, I'm not saying he's going to do that against the 49ers because we know Jacoby Brissett can't move out the pocket as great, you know what I'm saying? And there's going to be mistakes. So when the 49ers is going to come at them, Pretty much so. But nevertheless, I, I just feel like, um, and I think Sam Howell, I, well, I guess depends on how Jacoby Brissett plays this game. We could see him getting benched. Sam Howell comes back in. Who knows? This is all in the head of Ron Rivera's head. You know, he did this last year. He did the benching last year. He had first Carson Wentz got hurt. Taylor Heineke got in. Taylor Heineke had some good games. Then all of a sudden he struggled a little bit, but we still was winning games. Guess what he did? He benched him for Carson Wentz. And then we, we lost to Cleveland. And then we didn't make the playoff. Then he tried to go back to Taylor Heineke, and he told him no, put Sam Howell in. Sam Howell played the last game of the season against Dallas. Now, that game against Dallas is pretty much a game that was over, was over. But at the same time, you know, we thought, you know, Sam Howell. And I don't, me personally, I don't think Air B offense is made for Sam Howell. Because when you start the season off just really slinging the ball all over the place, just throwing the ball all over the place, and not really establishing no kind of run game, then you got to really look at the fact that the matter is, is that what are we doing? Because for Jacoby Brissett, and even though our offensive line is atrocious, what are we doing? Because for Jacoby Brissett, come in there and just really go down the field, Terry's catching passes, had a career game, 141. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jacoby is a veteran. And that's that's the biggest upside. And Jacoby's tall, too. He's taller than Sam. But don't make no mistake, the Washington Commanders will be going in 2024 drafting a quarterback. Now, Sam Howell contract 
it helps us because we don't have to pay, we're paying him pennies on the dollar. Jacoby is going to command more. Now, we could keep him. We could keep Sam Howell on the roster. We could still get a, a savvy veteran. But make no mistake, whoever we tra- draft from one to three, quarterback-wise, will be the day one starter. There ain't no mistake about it. Some people want Michael Penix. I just have issues with his injury history. That's my only thing about him. Because he's a big guy. He's big like him. I but everybody is talking about Drake May and Kayla Williams. Me personally, watching what Baltimore has done, I want us to have a quarterback like that. Jaden Daniels to me will be that quarterback. He will be that quarterback that fits the, the system, whoever we bring in. You know. So me personally, I would love to have Jaden Daniels. That's my pick. He's my favorite pick. I want Jaden Daniels. He's elusive. He could throw the ball. But I want to talk about that now. I'm just, you know, I'll go into that a little later. But now, will Jacoby start the last game of the season against the Dallas Cowboys? It was mainly to be seen because Dallas is playing for something because if they lose to Detroit this weekend, then guess what? Dallas has to play all their players. So these games, last two games of the season, is very cru- crucial for Dallas and for um, the 49ers because the 49ers just got beat. Dallas most likely could probably lose this weekend. So that's the same thing. Um, but nevertheless, I think we all have come to – I think I have come to terms – of the Sam Howell era being over. Um, depends on who the new GM is and the new head coach is and who they're going to be drafting to replace to replace him. I think Sam Howell has a lot. He could be a good serviceable, serviceable backup. Um, he could be like Taylor Heineke was. Um, um, he might go somewhere to resurrect his career like Baker Mayfield and Geno Smith has. Who knows? Same thing with um, Sam Donald. Who, who knows? But I think this offense with Eric, I think Ron Rivera, Eric B. Enemy, broke this young man. And they didn't give him no help to where he just succeeded. Should have succeeded. I think Eric B. Enemy just threw him out there and expect for him to make all these Patrick Mahomes plays. And it, and it's just, to me, I think it's foolish. I think it's uncanny for him to do, do Sam Howell like that. Now, Sam Howell hasn't did himself any favors either. He really pretty much um, kind of like turned the ball over a lot. His decision making wasn't really good, and the receivers really haven't helped him by separating. And that's what we're gonna have to draft too: some receivers that can separate, because some of our receivers can't separate. But nevertheless, Sam Howell's bench again. I mean, this three straight straight weeks he's been benched, and the the first two was poor performance. But let's see what Jacoby Brissett gonna do. I don't think, like I said, I don't think we're going to be the 49ers, but hey, I mean, at least it can make it interesting. But um, for the future of Sam Howe as a Washington commander, it's pretty much over. It's pretty much over, guys. So um, I had to jump on here to do this video. I haven't been feeling well, guys, for the last few days, so I'm trying to get myself back together. So hopefully today I'll bounce back in a good way. But until then, Law Wire Sports Media, I'm out.